Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to let the 3D object to animate follow the curve, follow the path in Blender 3.6. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. Alright, first, this is the Blender 3.6. I'm going to press A to delete everything, to clear everything. And now I'm going to create an object as demo. So I, I click add, mesh, I click a a cone for example this is the cone and next I'm going to create a path so I click add curve path so next what we're going to do is click the curve click the path you can see this is the curve go to the edit mode and then click here and then activate the normals so that you can see the direction this is the direction of the movement and next you may just click the x sorry click the z so that you can view in x y plane then you can extrude for example you extrude this or you can move it this will be the curve or you can press e to extrude it will start from here and I want to extrude it here, E to extrude. All right. Next, you can see everything I already draw in the XY plane. I back to the weight. I may just want to make it bigger. I press A to, to select everything. I press S to make it bigger like this. So now, this will be the path. This will be the curve. I back to the object mode. This is the curve. Next, I want this to animate follow the curve. So I click the object and hold the shift, click the curve, and then control P. Once control P, just click follow the path. This is the path. Then click the empty area and click the object again. Go to the constraint. Sorry, the constraint is at here. Click. It should have the constraint. But now, this will be wrong because it is under there. So Control Z to make sure you back to the original form. We must make sure that it is not, not binding together. So again, I click. I click the curve, I hold the shift, I click the object, control P, no, I click this, hold the shift, control P, then path constraint. Now you can see it already have the constraint here. So this one, you can just adjust everything, follow the curve and animate the path. If you try to play, you can see it already animate follow the curve to adjust the speed what you can do is click the curve then go to the curve here the path animation this one you can adjust the speed if you make this value bigger for example 300 then once you play it will be slower All right so if you put this as a smaller value, for example, 50, then it will be very fast. It is just very simple to let it follow the curve. All right. Just for example, if I back to the constraint, and then you put negative Y, and if you switch this to that direction, say here, I put the rotation to become like this, 90, press enter. Next, I back to the constraint again, then let it sync again. Now you can see it will totally follow the curve in that direction. So what is that direction? That is negative y direction, negative y. So if 
if your object originally faced to the negative y and here you choose the negative y then once you seen it it will totally follow the curve follow the path again i change the path the path i make it to become 300 to make it slower now just have a look it is like a bullet it will automatically follow the curve follow the path to animate it is really awesome really easy this is the total frame of the curve that means if here is 250 this one the frame you also put 250 then by the end it will end up at this point and it will become a loop to play at here it is really easy to let the object follow the curve so for anything it is also work the same i open the blender again to have a really fast demo start from beginning so now press a delete sorry press a and delete everything so add add an object for example a cube then the negative y is at there so i'm going to put a an arrow an arrow at there select it e to extrude s to make it small so now let's say this is a space a spacecraft so now you can see it face the minus y the negative y direction which is the direction the xy plane and then i'm going to add a curve back to the object mode add curve the path then edit mode switch on the the normal so actually you can extrude it to any direction even up e z to make it up All right now once done already back to the object mode click make sure it face the minus y face the minus y here should be 180 then click the object and hold the shift click the path control p the path constraint the path constraint then click the object then go to the constraint negative y follow the curve follow the path animate the path so now this one back to the edit mode and check again the direction the direction is at there you may want to just change the direction right so now the direction is at there so at the beginning you must make sure you you make the direction properly so if you try to change the direction it may be other other method but need to find it out to change the direction of the curve switch direction is here it's okay so now back to the object mode try to play now you can see this rocket it follow the curve it is really easy right that's all for today about my tutorial on how to animate the object that follow the curve follow the path and that's all for today thank you for watching if you love my videos tutorials if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3d modeling 3d animation and 3d game developing you can subscribe to my youtube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time i publish a new videos tutorials or sharing you receive a notification immediately see you in my next video enjoy happy 3d animation 3d modeling and 3d game developing see you